Control, stability, and tests. Um, I'm gonna explain to you what I did last night before I attempt to fly it. Um, so see how it works out. Hopefully we don't crash. All right, I set up three modes. Mode one is gonna give me 70% control over the helicopter, giving the system 30% control over itself, meaning it's gonna compensate, it's gonna stabilize, and it's gonna try to keep itself leveled out. Just 30% of the time with 30% of the weight or 30% of the maneuvers, which will give me, you know, normal flight time. That's kind of decent. Second setup that I did, second uh, mode, is completely opposite where I almost you could almost call it autopilot <laughs> I gave the system itself 90% control over this helicopter so its job is gonna try to keep everything floating and level it's almost gonna be like trying to fly a, uh, a, a coaxial helicopter and then the third level third mode is I'm giving zero percent control of, of um, the helicopter to the system so there will be no stability no gyro nothing 100% me now depending on how this wind kicks in if this rain is gonna come in or not we'll see about mode 3 test I might check an eye and not do it I don't know yet but we're definitely gonna try test mode 1 and test mode 2 and we'll see what happens there now as a backup, I'm going to go ahead and also, where are we? I'm also going to connect the secondary camera. So we'll see the bird's eye view of the bird. So just in case if it does take off or something freaky happens, you know, hey, at least we recorded a really cool accident. All right, come on. Okay. All right, yeah, of course it's got to be windy and ugly today. Why would we want this day to be any better, any different, right? We test stuff on perfect calm days and there's no fun. All right, here we go. Out there. And they should wind up. Somebody's excited to go up. All right, here we go. A little bit of a pull, but I can live with it. All right, where's the wind coming from? That direction. A lot of wind, actually. And a lot of pull. A quick adjustment here. Yeah, I got a lot of a right pull. Let me land her real quick. I'm gonna go two points to the left. Let me put, let me put on my safety here. Move it over here. Okay, turn my safety off. And let's rebound it with the new setting in place. Let it send. Saved. Close. Okay, resend the signal to the heli. Two notches to the left. off there all right here we go with the fine tuning that I did a right. little better All right, good. Even though it's windy as hell, got less of a pull, which I like it. I got more control over it. 
Every time that wind hits, it just wants to take off. <laughs> All right, let's bring her in close, but not too close. Come on, baby. There you go. Right now it's hovering on its own and not touching the control. There's the wind pretty much was moving it. Alright. So that mode seems to work pretty good. Alright, here we go now. Okay, I pull to the left. I let go. Should slowly try to correct itself, but not too much. I like that. Alright. Okay. And those breezes. Jesus. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna pull to the right, and it should slowly correct itself, but not too much. Perfect. And that breeze, Jesus Christ! I really gotta try this with no breeze. For a 450, it shouldn't be getting that much. All right, here we go. We're gonna go for the second one, and I'm hoping that it doesn't cause a crash. I gotta do it when the breeze is gone. All right, here we go. Here goes nothing. Woo! -hoo! All right. This is autopilot. Woo! You can hear that engine roaring. That's 90% of the helicopter flying itself right there. But the wind is really not liking it, so I'm going to switch it back real quick. All right, there we go. Bring it back down. I definitely got to adjust that. It's just way too much throttle. It's a lot of throttle and very little pitch. So I'm definitely going to adjust that part. But it, it flew itself, but man, too much throttle. I gotta lower that. All right, I like it. I wasn't pretty much doing anything. It was flying itself. Um, I didn't do the auto correction because the throttle was just exaggerated high. All right, so here. Yeah, look at that wind. All right. Well, after I adjust the throttle, look at that. It's really trying to compensate for that wind. And when I, uh, when I released it, it shot up. I mean, it shot up. So, I definitely got to adjust some of that throttle. Come on, baby. I know it's breezy. All right. I don't think I'll do, t I don't think I'll do mode three where it's way too breezy. So I have 0% of the gyro and of the stabilizer. Yeah, look at that. I mean, that breeze is just taking it. It's very windy. All right, come on back here. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna bring it down. It's a lot of breeze. I'm not in a mood to crash this today. Just set her down right here, right in front of me. So it worked. I think the um, the throttle is like way too high on that um, on that second mode. Uh, this thing really shot up to the sky when I released it, and it was just working really hard just to stay at that um, at that mode there. So. Hi. You know what? <laughs> oh my God, hold on. Hey, hi. The, the most dangerous helicopter in the air right now. Flame, you playing Bumblebee this morning? Not gonna make it. Oh, rock. Rock. look at that, woo! It's upside down, world. Oh. What again? Oh. Okay, that thing is getting gone. Quick here. 
Wired up a switch. And out of the bag. 3,000 milliamps. There's an IMAX B6 AC. Battery fits. It's finally here. Camera Devo 10 remote. All right, as you can see. Uh oh. Uh oh. V262 quadcopter, the Radjet 800. Yeah. And here, it's gonna move its sway like this. Right out of the box. That's cool. You see, I'm not even touching the control. It's like... I'm at 25, maybe 20 there. 